How did you guys get to even meeting like Hardy in the first place? And were you friends with him prior, I guess? Mm, he was friends with Problem Child. He's a rapper. And they know each other. Problem Child. They made a studio. They came in like that. Yo, we're watching Kids Take Over right now. I'm with Homicide Gang in New York. How's it going, guys? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's going on? Hell yeah, bro. I'm so excited to do this because um, I didn't say this before we like you know recorded, but like I think that you guys are so original and fresh, and I love music like that because I think there's nobody that's rapping on the type of beats you are the way you guys are rapping. You know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate so, it. Hell yes. Yeah. But let's get into it. I think this is like your first or second interview, so like. People know the music, but they don't know anything about you guys, you know? Yeah. Do you, do you like that? Like, do you like being like kind of secretive or? Yeah, we like it like that. Until they get there to the point where we open up. Yeah. We'll open up more the more we transition. Yeah. I mean, I wanna, I'm so curious to know about like your guys' like background and whatnot. Like, where are you both individually like from? Are you from the same place or? No. We're both from Atlanta. Atlanta. Not the same area though. East side of Atlanta. You're, you're from East side, what about you? Mm. Same I'm from area. Kirkwood. We're the same area. He's from Gresham. I'm from Kirkwood. Oh, okay, the right. same east side of Atlanta, though. I'm, I'm one to say that I think Atlanta is the best city in the world. <laughs> is that facts? What do you guys think? It's cool. Yeah. For being from there, it's like, it's all right. But like when you see other things, like we ain't even been to Canada. So, mm. so like when we see Canada, we might be like, that's the best thing. True. Yeah. <laughs> but are you guys like, are you guys just like, oh, come here. we grew up in Atlanta, so I like it. Or are you like passionate? Like, yo, like I rep the city. Like this is like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. For sure. It's the southern hospitality. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's the weather. The weather? Yeah. Weather Sometimes, is always chill. But um, some seasons not in it. Like right now? How's, how's it like in Atlanta right now? I don't like it. <laughs> it's probably cold as hell, right? For sure. Not literally. But um, how'd you guys, like, I'm so curious, like, how'd you guys even meet? Are you guys related? Um, you can say so. Yeah. Like how like like what's like the first time you guys met? I'm so curious. <laughs> you wanna tell? Him? You tell. Him. <laughs> we had a basketball game like um uh, what was it middle school high school high school like ninth grade high school basketball game. Okay. At the concession stand. It's okay. I was fat back then. Yeah. You were not fat, bro. I can't imagine you fat. <laughs> no, I know that. I was fat back then. For real. You gonna see pictures come up like okay. The more it go, up. I was kind of chubby. I say chubby. Yeah. Chubby. <laughs> I always yeah. at the concession stand. And I was with my girl best friend, my cousin, old girlfriend. And then he pulled up on her. He pulled in our game. I was like, who this is? And she was like, you know, I was like, you look familiar. I said, you look familiar too. <laughs> he said the same thing. And I was back, it was just like, just mutual, just mutual respect ever since. Like, if, yeah. you know, if, you, if you know what that means, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've just been like hanging out ever since, like? Literally. For sure. Were you guys like you guys weren't playing on the basketball team? You were just like watching the game. At the right? game. Okay. I was watching the game. <laughs> That's so random, dude. Well. Yeah, it's crazy. You know what's 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 even crazier is like so we have a mutual uh, Mitch, mm -hmm. and he was telling me that like, the crazy part about this all is you guys didn't even start making music until like kind of recently. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And just it's like rubber. you should be pretty proud, bro. Like it's been like what three, two something years, and like look at where you guys are at right now. You know. Yeah. What was like the average day like in your guys' life before this music stuff? That's what I want to know. Like, what were you guys like before music? This <laughs> <laughs> kid's takeover, doing? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's Who's doing yeah. Playing a game. Say, say, playing a game. Yeah. Fortnite. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now you can say whatever you want. I know the like. kids love Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fortnite. You know, were you like interested kind of in making music when you were coming up? Like, did you ever think that that's what you guys were going to do? Or? No. Mm -hmm. Like, was that. We always together. That was for one. And then like, I don't know. Pino just bought we just bought it out, man. Oh, I can't even hold it. Just, mm. Being in a spot. Just mm. being in a spot. Bino had the mm. Bino hood Bino had them Bino hoodies. Yeah. That's what happened. Mm. Bino had the Bino hoodies. Yeah, I saw them fan base coming. Okay. So you were selling clothes first, you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Selling hoodies. Oh damn. Yeah. The Bino, like, when the, um, the whole lot of red, like the Bino song, I was mm. at the, the merch. Like, like that. Like he the put song. his name on the, on the hoodie. So you got like a fan base from that. Yeah. Originally. What was like, uh, what was like the experience of like a, a recording you guys' first song ever? Like that probably was kind of special, <laughs> no? 
Mm, it was funny. Yeah. It was funny. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> like hearing us, hearing us on a, on a beat, or just coming out the speakers, it was just like. Were you really making that the first time? Like one song. Mm. Went in, said two bars, came out like, <laughs> nah. Things nah, are... we flipped, we wild. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of beat was it on? Because I tell everyone this, dude, you guys have such incredible beat selection. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it feels like you started off with amazing beats. Whereas everyone else who starts rapping, like, dude, they start rapping with, like, you know, on like shitty, bad beats, you know? Yeah. But what kind of beats were you guys rapping on in the, in the very beginning? You don't remember on now? Never switched up. Yeah. We could have been star rapper. Yeah. Just never mm -hmm. thought about it. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we had our brothers. Yeah. So who's like some of like the first producers you guys started working with? DL. Mm. Mm. If we're working with like hands on DL. Mm. Long live DL forever. Sure. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> I mean, um, you know, tell me the story of like this. This is what I'm really curious about. Is mm -hmm. so I know you're from Atlanta. Obviously, um, you told me the area you're from. Like, how did you guys get to even meeting like Cardi in the first place, and then like that whole connection happening? Were you friends with him prior? I guess. Mm, he was friends with Problem Child. He's a rapper. And okay. know Free the Problem Child. Mm. For sure. They made a studio. They came in like that. Mm. Studio. Vibes there. Yeah. Everything I, was just different. Because mm -hmm. we weren't used to that mm -hmm. environment. We used to gang, gang, gang spot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just going to the studio, being around that was just different. Mm -hmm. We ain't never had everybody around like that. Mm. So how'd that go where you act, you guys actually ended up, you know, getting into conversations about like signing and whatnot? Like how, how did that even happen? I'm sure you guys played him a bunch of music and like it took some time. It wasn't just like right away, right? First song he heard. <laughs> it was right away. It was right away? First song he heard. What was the song? I'm so curious. As I say, he thought it was less. Damn. What advice has he kind of like given you guys when it comes to music because I know a lot of people when you're on like a like a label like you'll you'll get feedback and stuff from the artists, you'll play each other music, you'll make music together, like mm -hmm. like what kind of advice does he give you guys when it comes to the actual like sounds? One thing, be yourself. Stay to your sound. Cause we all make music. So as long as you make your sound, you make your sound, you make your sound. Mm -hmm. We all be the same. We'll go up together for sure. Yeah, absolutely. What's kinda like how do you feel like your life changed the most ever since signing, like, um, yeah, like, like how did you guys' life change the most from that? Going day by day. <laughs> really, it's, just, it's, it's good, but it's just really just going day by day for real. Yeah. It's going good, though. Got yeah, better? Yeah. For sure. I think, like, if as a fan, I feel like the most, you know, the coolest way that your life would change is, like, I feel like you guys gain more passionate fans after signing, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you probably have seen, like, the fans of, like, Opium are very passionate. Mm -hmm. Like, have you guys ever met like a like a crazy, crazy fan? Um, uh, well, he's not crazy. Man. We don't consider him crazy. Yeah, we don't consider him crazy. Not like crazy in a good way. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like they love you guys literally. Yeah, because we love them for yeah. sure. So it's like a mutual, mutual yeah. thing. We love them. They love us. You guys Just ever seen this video? Um, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up. This is so random, but like this is like the embodiment of like an Opium fan, and it's like. I don't know, like, have you guys ever seen this before? This kid? Mm -hmm. <laughs> have you seen that before? Yeah, I've seen that before. That's how them kids, that's how they, that's how they be for real. That's how they be. The show we just had in Miami. Yeah. A kid, mom bought him on his birthday, for his birthday. Yeah. When like he came back, he came back. After the show, we take pictures. Came back. He said it was his birthday gift. Yeah. Oh, for real? <laughs> Mama's not getting tickets. That's yeah. your birthday gift. That was crazy. It's crazy. That's super cool, man. Yeah, I mean, that must be amazing. Um, that's amazing, bro. I mean, um, I'm so curious, like, what, what does, like, opium mean to you guys, aside from, like, the label, but just, like, you know, the lifestyle? Like, every, like, label and, like, collective has, like, a meaning behind it, you know? So, like, what does it kind of mean to you guys? I'm just curious. It's a family. Yeah. 0055. Like, it really ain't, like, no words to be explained, like. Yeah. We're together. Yeah. I noticed words that. Words can't even can't explain, like, it's just, yeah. like, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> For real. For sure. I noticed that with like, it's not even just like the artists. It's like, it's you guys, the creative people, the producers. Like, you guys are like literally all one big family. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, it was before music, before yeah. we was rapping. Yeah. 
So it was like, we, before we was rapping, we was already you know, growing up, you know what I'm saying? But that was you two guys. What about like everyone else, like the producers and stuff? Like, yeah, we knew them. Yeah. You knew them beforehand? It was, yeah, yeah. Like, it was already. It was real. Damn, just because like they're all in the same neighborhood or like? No, 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 I'm talking about with, um, with Clark. Oh, okay, word, 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 yeah. Because I mean, people like, yeah, like you're, the whole collective is just so dope. Like even like Starboy and like people like that. Yeah. Like, like how is it like meeting people like that that are probably not from Atlanta, you know? They're cool. Yeah. And they're good people. It be right off the top. It's like they be. We feed off each other. Mm. We feed off each other. Mm -hmm. Safe to say that. We feed off each other. For sure. I mean, the thing that I love about duo so much, um, I remember there's this one duo I really liked. Their name was 88 Glam. Mm -hmm. um, they still make music. Uh, but like, what I liked a lot about them and duos in general is that you guys can like combine your strengths and weaknesses in a sense. So it's like, if like, you know, if you are like more comfortable at doing something that, you know, like someone else isn't, then like you can kind of fill in the gaps kind of. Sure. How do you guys feel like you complement each other like sonically? You just know. I look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's literally what it is. It's literally what it is. Because like, we was, it was before rap. Mm -hmm. like, we was like that before music. Before music, we was already like that. Like, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm handling, if we dealing with something, I'll be no. He'll give me the face expression and I know. Mm. Or he'll meet you. And same just, thing. Same thing. Mm. Just like that. Man. <laughs> the best chemistry you guys have ever had on a song, and I think this is your best song, mm -hmm. is Holler. Holler. Mm. Appreciate you. I think that's your number one song, but I'm curious, like, do you guys think that's, be honest, do you guys think that's your best song? Uh, what what you mean, your best song for the show? Nah, just like your. In general. In general, you guys are your best song, like, you know. You, that's mm. the song you love. Holler. Yeah. yeah. I love that song. We love, we love all our music. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just gonna say that. that. Every song we look at, like we love it. But this gotta be that one song where you guys are like, nah, this is like the. It stand out. Yeah. 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 I mean, if it stand out to you, yeah, it stand out to you. On that music, nah, not to me. That, that didn't stand out to you. Mm, it's, it's, it's one of them. Yeah. For sure. If no, you guys um, stop making music right now, what's the number one song you guys ever, like your favorite song of yours? One of them. Well, yeah. Long live R five for sure. That's the number one. Nah, for sure, bro. Bro, I um, I think it was like an IG live you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the beat here, I'm I'm gonna play it. When I when I was first hearing it, I was like, oh, I don't know where this is going, like with this beat. I was like, oh, this is cool, whatever. And then out of nowhere, Ooh. like the most un and and I said this to you earlier. I feel like you have like such incredible beat selection. You know, mm -hmm. um, where does that come from, like? Yeah, I I like, it's a collective thing every yeah. time. Mm -hmm. I, I be in the house all day. I FaceTime like, Bino. And it's just like that. Yeah. That's it. It's just all coming together. Why? Been doing that's how we start. started. Yeah. yeah, that's how we started. Yeah. You don't want to switch nothing up. Switch right. Nothing. It got to be different, but now we got to sound. I yeah. want to know. Now, you guys have like a signature sound, bro, like for your beats, the way you rap. And like when you're in a studio with a producer, like what do you tell them? Like, you know. What's what's like things that you cannot have on on your beats, and what's things that like you need? It's things that gotta be snatty. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's they the know. Whole you know they know. If we, when they come in the session, it's just gotta be snatty. Yeah. So when we say that, they already know what we're talking about. Hell yeah. For sure. All right, for fans who don't know what that means, what does that mean? Mm. All our beats. Mm? All our beats. Yeah. <laughs> Just listen to our beats and you'll know. I think all of your beats kind of have like the same signature like aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. Well, actually not all of them because like there's that one song you guys have with uh, this kid. He's like, he's also Indian. His name is Lil Hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's boy. That's like not an aggressive beat, but it's still like a homicide gang beat, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, trying to do all stuff. Yeah. We're not trapping ourselves in the box. Yeah. True. true Just true. making music, having fun, because that's how we started. Yeah. Having fun. All you got to do is have fun. Yeah. And try not and go out of the box. I feel that's that. That's out the box for us. Right. Nobody would think we gonna do that. I think like one producer I wish you guys would work with. I mm -hmm. just want to see it happen. Is like uh, Benny X. Benny X. Benny X is in, in in working on dying. Get us up with him. I feel like you guys probably have like a million mutuals, bro. He's like like you guys work with Filthy a lot. Mm -hmm. and Benny X, Filthy are like are like this. Okay, you know? so he probably. Some. Yeah. Let's we'll see. My hair that comes soon. Not nah, definitely. Mm -hmm. The reason I say it is because Benny X has mel like. He has like really weird melodies in his beats, right? And mm -hmm. that's my favorite beats from you guys, like Holler, for example. You mm -hmm. know, it's like the melodies are really weird. Mm -hmm. So that's like my favorite stuff from you guys. I'd love to, you know, see that more. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's on yeah. The I do want to ask one thing. So, like, do you guys think there's ever like misconceptions about your name? Because you both seem like really nice people. You know, 
you're so passionate about music, you're just following your dreams, right? But I feel like people will hear the name and like have some sort of misconception, you know? Like, if we misunderstood, they just gotta meet us. Just gotta yeah. meet us. Come meet us. Mm -hmm. Or come to one of our shows. Right. Watch us perform. And you will be screaming, homicide. Yeah. No bell. Nah, for real. That's super cool, man. No, I think you guys have like a really like positive energy towards you guys. I wish like fans would, like I need everyone to know that, you know? Kind of for watching sure. this. So yeah. correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, like was the group kinda like bigger at first because you guys have other I don't know if they're like affiliates or just like other people that you know that also go by like homicide something, right? Yeah. So like how does homicide that work? is a brand. Yeah. Yeah, homicide is a brand. Like you can put homicide you, you could be you homicide. Homicide KTL? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> That's kinda yeah. like no That's about. for sure. Hey, I'm I'm trademarking that, bro. I, no about. <laughs> nah, I'm down with that. So there's uh, like who else like you guys have like other artist friends, um, producer yeah. friends in homicide clothing, sure. like yeah. what's that like? Yeah, we got that's Morris for sure. They, my brothers, mm -hmm. we all doing the same thing, but just like a big family. Yeah, mm -hmm. homicide, big family. Are you guys cool with homicide getting like bigger? Or are you guys trying to keep like your circle small? Like, how do you feel about that? What you yeah. mean? Like, you guys want to bring in more? Our people? circle gonna always be small. Yeah. Let me stop you. Right I'm mean? gonna catch you. Yeah, our circle gonna always be small, but homicide the brand yeah. definitely getting bigger than bigger, ever. bigger. Yeah, yeah, bigger than us. Homicide already bigger than us. Like. For sure. But in terms of like your like inner like friend circle, like you're not trying to like. No, nah, yeah, we ain't switching up. No, because nah. nah. you guys grew up together. Yeah, so, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't want to like get too deep into this because it's kind of like negative, I guess, or just sad. But like, how do you guys cope with like a situation like one of your friends like passing away, like R five, obviously, you know, like mm -hmm. obviously, you know, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like there's definitely someone watching this video who has also lost somebody, you know. Mm -hmm and you guys have been through it, how do you just kind of like suggest that other people can like move on from that or, you know, like how do you guys deal with something like that? Mm, day by day, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. Yeah. Um, day by day, I guess. You guys were super close, obviously, like what, you know, what do you think his, his legacy is kind of, you know, from this point on? Forever. Our legacy. Yeah. yeah. His, leg his legacy, our legacy. Our legacy, his legacy. And it's going right. to stay forever. Like, homicide legacy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, that's our brother. Our fire homicide. Like, that's why he had homicide. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it going. Hell yeah, I hope so, bro. No, I love keep that. But how we cope is just why like, we smoke weed. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Smoke weed. Mm. Try not to think too hard about it. Because, you know, everybody going to leave one day. Mm -hmm. It's just, mm, it's just what it is. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. What's kind of like your guys' relationship um, with, with Ken and Lonely? Like, I don't know when, when you first got signed, if you just met Cardi or if you knew Ken and Lonely before, but like, yeah, oh, yeah, so you knew them before? For yeah. sure. Uh, how so? Like, I mean, I know they didn't go to the same school and meet at the concession. Same center. thing, studio. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, like we all, no, nobody leaves the studio. So you got to catch, catch us in the studio. Yeah. We either in the studio, at a show, or we at home. Mm. So that's how you catch us. That's how we caught them. Mm. It's just like that. Was it just like a random link up? Like somebody linked you guys together? Or like oh no, we were, we were Clark. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I mean, came, I mean, came, oh, I came with us, and okay. then we met Lonely. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think of? I'm so curious. What did you guys think of like, um, like Ken and Lonely's music before you met them, or did you not even like know of them? Uh, mm, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to think. I, I said. Music. What? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even about no music, we just yeah. met him. Like, we met him before he started making music. Yeah. Well, I, I went first pause. I, we knew him before he played music. Mm. I didn't even know he made music. Oh, damn. Yeah. You don't know he yeah. made music? Literally. Literally. No. no, he was like... He wasn't... He was, um, he was on his beginning stage, I guess. Yeah. Mm, okay. It was like the beginning king. Yeah. Like, yeah. The beginning king. For sure. On the block, pulling to the block with us. Yeah. yeah. Pulling on our block. For sure. <laughs> no bad. Yeah. Nah, true. If you look back on it, like an old picture of Ken and now is like very different, bro. Yeah, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I know you know what we're saying. You can yeah. yeah, for sure. I know what you mean. Yeah, with him there. Yeah. Well, and what about Lonely? Like, what's like your chemistry like? Um, like, this is what I want to know. Like, so you guys were all in the same studio together, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're making, actually making music or just hanging out, but like, what's the chemistry like between you, Cardi, Ken, Lonely, like in one studio session? <laughs> like, like, what is that like? Fry, yeah. How you saying? It's snotty. <laughs> yeah. It's a snotty session. It's a snotty session. Yeah. Like, 
far out, you ain't even getting too far out. We in the studio 24 hours. Oh, yeah? yeah? Like, For don't really? leave, leave to go take a shower and come back. <laughs> That's what it's like? Literally. Until Any food, food, you need blunts or anything, it's going to come to the studio. Yeah. Sure. Anything you need is coming to the studio. Damn. 24-hour studio session. What's your guys' favorite, like, city to record in Atlanta, New York, like? Atlanta. Mm. Atlanta right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Home is where is it? Yeah. Just for now. We ain't really caught no vibe. Well, we just went anywhere and recorded. We really just caught the vibe, like, this is where we're going to come to record. Yeah. Whenever we need to lock in. You know how some people have a place where they go to make a project? Well, you guys should try the thing where you kind of, like, travel to a different city, like a really different city, and then record there because maybe the music will turn out different, you know? You know, one of the last few things I wanted to ask you guys is like, I hear that there's a there's a new project coming from you guys. If you go into Genius right now and you type your name, it says there's one called like Five Five Five. That's what it's called. That's what it's in. That's what it said on Genius. To be announced. Yeah. (laughs) So like, Homicide Lifestyle. Yeah, that's the name name of it. Homicide Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Homicide Lifestyle. After making the project and just listening, it's like this is our lifestyle. Mm. And it's just. Just cool. People don't really that. know us, so just listen to the music. Yes, sir. Yeah. What do you think is going to be different from like something like this and then like the project you guys put out and, and the deluxe you put out earlier? Like, What do you think is going to be different on this project? A lot. Yeah. Progress. <laughs> I can see it in his face. <laughs> How so? Like, like, like what? Like, what, what, what specifically? Mm, the beat's better. You get better. Everything get better. Yeah. Us vocally. Yeah. Are you guys experimenting with like new things, like, you know, trying out different uh, voices? That will come. That'll be on the mist. Yeah? That'll be on there. I got I gotta hear it. Just better, way better. Oh yeah. Because it's like we ain't dropped in a year. I know, bro. I've been waiting like for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do wanna know about is like before we end this interview is like mm-hmm. how'd you guys feel about about the, the ad lib shout out on Rockstar Made? The homicide, homicide, ad lib. That was like the hardest part of the of, of the tape. For guess. sure. Yeah. What was your guys' reaction to that? Yeah. <laughs> what's your What's your reaction to that? I was like, this This is insane. I was like, the, right. The first song there I heard on go. the album. Yeah. There you, there you go. go. Yeah. Homicide, homicide. We know when it dropped. Then when we know when you get insane. Then when we get insane. That's like this. No yeah. One. Yeah. Or double O is either us. Or it's, it's always us. Know it's always say. us. Yeah, I respect it, bro. I respect it. Last question I want to ask is, you know, our brand is our whole brand is called Kids Take Over. It's like, what's your guys' like main message to the youth? If you could say one thing, like each of you, one thing. Go first. Stay focused. And be yourself. Like, really, like stay focused, and you can't be scared to be yourself. Like what you just said. Like stay focused and be yourself. Like you gotta stay focused and really be yourself. Just because you, you got friends that do one thing, you can't be scared to be yourself. And whatever you're like, doing, just stay focused. I'm pretty sure you got friends doing other things. Absolutely. Like you're yeah. staying you focused, doing? doing what you... Yeah. And you being yourself, and all your kids take over. Facts. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true, yeah. Facts. I appreciate it, man. You guys watching Kids Take Over. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Appreciate I'm you. Again. I'm Next time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yo guys, thank you for watching that Homicide Gang interview. I've been wanting to do it for a while. If you're an OG fan, I feel like you know, you know, huge fan of everything going on in Opium. We should do a Destroy Lonely one soon. So leave a comment if you want to see a Destroy Lonely interview. But yeah, just if you enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the interview and you know want to follow our journey, go click the like button, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our other videos, and just you know follow me on my journey with this brand, and I'm gonna keep giving you guys the best content.